Oh. Okay mga kaibigan, so ito na nga para sa akin. As of making this video, isang best value tablet na pwede mong bilhin ngayon. Ito nga yung Xiaomi Pad 5 and yes, alam ko sa mga magsabi dyan na Uy, 2021 pa na-release yan, may Xiaomi Pad 6 na. Well, hindi pa kasi officially na-release dito ang Xiaomi Pad 6 sa Pilipinas. So, uh, until then, ito muna para sa akin nga ang best value tablet na pwede mong bilhin ngayon. So, ito nga nabili ko for 14K. Actually, a little less than 14K. While officially, ang MSRP nito is 8999 you can actually buy this right now sa Shopee for 15999 Of course, if you can buy it for that price, ang insane ng value ng tablet na to, especially at that price. So, I've been using this for about 2 weeks now, and uh, malamang siguro may mga madidisappoint dyan since I won't be really talking about yung productivity aspect nito more on media consumption and gaming yung ginawa ko dito. So, yeah. Ngayon, the main reason kung bakit bumili na din ako ng Xiaomi Pad 5 bukod sa sale siya and matagal ko na din gusto bumili ng tablet is matagal ko na din gusto mag-review ng isang Android tablet dito sa channel. So, ito na nga tayo with the Xiaomi Pad 5 in this beautiful pearl white color option. First, uh, available din to in a gray and green na color. Pero ang two main things talaga na nagdadala sa tablet na to is yung Snapdragon 860 with a 120Hz IPS LCD display so yung resolution nga neto is 2560 by 1600 so 11 inch na display yan 6 gigs of memory which is honestly kind of meh for a tablet pero maganda naman dito this has UFS 3.1 storage yung uh, storage option na sa akin has 128 gigs of storage which is a bit bit thin para sa akin ewan ko lang sa inyo legit na pwede mong gamitin ang mini boombox to ang lupit ng speakers nito of course more on that later and yung 8720 million power battery na dito which can last me all day sometimes to ganun uh, plus with 33 watts of fast charging pero yung charger na kasama sa box only supports up to 22.5 watts so kailangan mo bumili ng uh, Xiaomi mismo na 33 watt charger if gusto mong uh, way faster charging para dito sa Xiaomi Pad 5 ngayon sabihin ko na kagad yung isang bagay na pretty much yeah, yun lang atang ayoko sa tablet na to is wala siyang fingerprint scanner pero uh, meron naman siyang face unlock which is uh, pretty solid naman for the most part medyo inconsistent lang siya sometimes uh, kahit na like you're in a well lit room pero hindi pa din mararecognize yung mukha mo but for the most part it works well for the most part so unang uno mo na nga is yung build quality and design so pagdating naman sa build I can say I can't really complain considering yung price nga neto um, so it does flex considerably pero nothing too catastrophic naman siguro ang yung sa mga tablets these days yung mga more modern tablets is masyado silang manipes uh, again maganda nga dito is aluminum nga yung frame neto Uh, pero plastic yung back. Pero as long as you get a case naman like this one, then you're pretty much good to go. And sa 2 weeks na ginagamit ko to is never kong tinanggal to sa case. Of course, with the exception of this video para makita nyo yung beauty ng design niya. Of course, uh, ewan ko, medyo partial na ako ngayon sa uh, cameras on a tablet. I mean, it works. It's fine. So, ito nga yung Xiaomi branding. Tapos, ito yung camera modules with the 13 megapixel sensor. F2.0 yan. And surprisingly, able to record in 4K. Yeah. And at first glance, baka kalahin mo na dual cameras yan. Pero, hindi. Yan. Nasa na yun yan? Nakalagay lang dito. It's 13 megapixels. AI camera. And yung dual LED flash. And for the most part naman, is hindi fingerprint magnet yung likod nito. So, that's really, really nice. Aluminum frame nga again. So, dito, hindi ko alam actually nung unang in-unbox ko to what this is. Pero feeling ko ito, ito dapat yung SIM card tray para sa Pro version kasi pagkakalam ko, same body lang sila ng Xiaomi Pad 5 Pro. So, supposedly, dito siguro yung SIM card tray if this had one pero hindi. Uh, this is only a Wi-Fi version. So, actually, medyo nakakalito pagdating sa orientation nito. So, if you're holding it with the front-facing camera, at the top, um, dito sa right side, is we do have two microphones here, ang volume rocker, which is nice and clicky, but a bit too flush siya. May two antenna lines din tayo dito sa top naman. We do have the power button, ang two of the quad speakers natin. Other microphone here, uh, antenna lines here, Dolby Vision Atmos, tapos din naman sa left side. We do have the... Uh, contact points para sa accessory nito yung keyboard case two more antenna lines tapos dito na sa bottom we do have the other two speakers of the quad speaker setup 
two more antenna lines, a microphone, and USB Type-C charging port, which unfortunately is uh, 2.0 nga lang. Tapos sa front nga, isang 11-inch nga natin na display with the front-facing camera here at the top, as you can see there. Tapos ito lang tayo sa display. Moving on to that huge 11-inch IPS LCD, 120 Hz, 2560 by 1600. So basically, a Quad HD display on this tablet. And compared to other similarly priced tablets, is uh, wala silang ganto basically. Like yung iba, baka 60 Hz, 90 Hz at best. Uh, so this is pretty insane at this price, 120 Hz nga again. And ang maganda nga dito is ilalak niya nga sa 120 Hz yan all the time kahit na you're going to apps like YouTube kasi... Um, usually sa MIUI is ilalak niya sa 60Hz yung uh, refresh rate kahit na nakaset siya sa 120Hz all the time kahit something like Twitter, ayan, 120Hz pa din siya. So, very nice naman. It gets really bright din naman although uh, sunlight readability is a bit of a struggle lang naman which uh, you can't really complain. I mean, I guess I wouldn't really expect anyone to use this tablet while walking outside under direct sunlight. So, ayun. But yeah, overall, this is a really great display for the price. Really, very, very nice. And, oof, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, I have to, I feel like, na i-discuss yung camera neto. Just for a bit. I mean, it can take pictures well enough siguro and like i said you can record up to 4k resolution here at 30 fps tapos ito naman yung 1080p video na nanggagaling sa front facing camera nito at 30 fps and assume ko naman walang gagamit nito pang vlog ewan ko na lang sa iyo so pagdating sa camera department dito sa Mi Pad 5 it's functional it's okay uh, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay siya. Tapos moving on na tayo sa strongest point of this tablet which is performance na basically daig niya ang kahit anong tablet in this price segment nga with that Snapdragon 860 and feeling ko uh, so this is currently running on MIUI 14.0.4 which not gonna lie medyo pinagsiyan ko na in-upgrade ko, in-update ko to sa latest version ng MIUI. Pagdating sa multitasking nato, it can handle up to 4 to 5 apps open in the background and you'll be fine. It will be able to keep those apps open in the background. Pero if more is magi struggle na siya, so it will stutter here and there if you have more than 5 apps open. And dun ko nga biniblame yung MIUI. I feel like this tablet would perform way better if uh, more optimized yung software ng uh, Xiaomi dito. Pero pagdating sa games, sa kahit anong games Nitro mo dito, siguro sa Genshin, uh, hindi mo ma highest settings yan at 60 FPS. Pero Roblox, uh, emulators and shit, it doesn't struggle at all to run these. So of course, unang-uno muna is sa Genshin. So ito nga tayo sa Genshin Impact at high graphics preset tapos 60 FPS, uh, motion blur turned off. And yeah, talagang iba yung experience when you're playing on an Android device with a blown up 11 inch display it's real freaking great and the best part pagdating sa performance nito lalo na in games is that it doesn't thermal throttle it doesn't overheat ang max temp lang at nakoko dito is around 36 degrees celsius which is excellent wow na nga pala pagdating sa speakers nito which wait lang Legit na pwede mong gawin na parang mini boombox tong uh, tablet na to. So dito nga sa Wild Griff, uh, 120 FPS setting tapos yan nga yung ibang graphic settings natin. Ngayon, while bumababa yung FPS na ito sa 100, so as nakikita nyo ngayon, it's na sa 100, bumababa siya sa 90 FPS. Yes, wala ka naman stutter na mararamdaman. It's uh, pretty smooth for the most part. No complaints. Very, very nice. Tapos, ito naman tayo sa Call of Duty Mobile. A uh, very high graphics quality, max frame rate. And yan nga, yung ibang graphics settings natin. So, tamang spectate muna pala. Kaya rin, nakita niya na din yung uh, mismong performance niya sa Call of Duty Mobile. Defend the objective. The enemy has the bomb. Contact with enemy. 
I get the glowing person I'll pull them to. Last man standing. Finish it. Ano maganda naman dito is may integrate ang Xiaomi na mga gestures dito although parang isang gesture lang yon. So uh, meron daw three fingers. So ayan, uh, three fingers swipe up, hold para mapunta ka sa multitasking uh, screen tapos uh, three fingers swipe to go to the home screen. Meron din four fingers which basically the same lang ata siya as with three fingers swipes. Um, tapos meron din naman if you're in an app is pwede mo ka. Yan, pwede mo three fingers swipe to the left or right. So, yung current app mo is mapupunta sa left. Tapos, pwede ka naman mamili sa mga apps mo kung ano yung gusto mong uh, i-multitask sa dual screen niya. So, ayan nga. And, ang ayoko talaga dito, yes, na-search ko na, is hindi mo pwedeng gawin na up-down yung mga apps when you're in portrait orientation. So, left and right talaga. Uh, ayoko talaga yon Pero, yeah, hopefully this is something that Xiaomi can add uh, through a software update and uh, more gestures nga since uh, this is a tablet. And of course, in usual MIUI gesture, so you can three finger swipe down to uh, take a screenshot, tapos three finger hold on the screen to be able to customize kung ano yung gusto mong. For example, may gusto ko lang snip na portion ng display, so you can easily do that. But yeah, overall, is a pretty happy also performance neto. Uh, maybe a bit disappointed sa multitasking since, again, uh, feel ko naman enough yung 6 gigs of memory neto. Uh, ang bine-blame ko nga is MIUI. At least I think so. And pag dating naman sa battery life na itong Xiaomi Pad 5. So again, we have a 8720 mAh battery with 33 watts of uh, max output for charging. So ang typical use ko dito is mostly media consumption, watching videos, Netflix, Twitch, YouTube, and gaming mainly emulators. I was able to easily get 8 hours of screen on time with about 30% left by the end of the day. And sometimes even 2 to 3 days if I'm not using it as much. Tapos if ever lang naman na madrain mo yung battery life neto, uh, with the included 22.5 watt charger that came in the box, you can charge this from 1% to 100 in 2 hours and 5 minutes. Tapos, you can charge this at 33 watts gamit yung official na Xiaomi 33 watt charger. Or in my case, since may Poco F5 ako, uh, use this uh, 67 watt charger pero most likely it will charge this Xiaomi Pad 5 at the max output of only 33 watts and I was able to charge this from 1% to 100 in only 1 hour and 35 minutes so really really nice and yeah overall masabi ko talaga sa tablet na to sa mga tumatandang tao like myself na would want to watch things on a bigger display enjoy Netflix, YouTube, Twitch Maybe even TikTok. Real snappy performance opening closing apps is a breeze. And of course, combined with that 120Hz display, talagang it invites me to use this tablet na for the past couple of weeks actually is medyo tinatambad ako reviewin yung uh, Infinix Note 30 VIP at yung Techno Common 20 Pro 5G dahil sa tablet na to. Like, I've been using this tablet like a heck lot compared to my phone now. And pagdating sa games, you can easily throw any game at this without any problems. Again, it doesn't overheat. It doesn't even get warm. Siguro just a bit warm pagdating sa charging. But that's uh, pretty much it. And yeah, I can easily recommend this. Of course, if you can get this for uh, dun nga sa price na 16k, 15999 then this is an insane tablet. And yes, my separate accessories to for productivity, like the uh, keyboard case, tapos yung stylus, pero yeah, I didn't really buy this tablet for that. And uh, for those people who actually don't want to spend a fortune on a tablet, like yung uh, tab series ng Samsung or an iPad, is this tablet is already great for media consumption and uh, games na wala ka nang hanga rin pang iba. Although, isang bagay lang siguro is yung, yeah, hopefully, i-optimize pa lalo to ng Xiaomi na it feels smooth as fuck right now. Pero, there are some occasional stutters when navigating through the software and shit. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Again, ang pinakayo ko lang naman dito sa tablet na to is wala siyang fingerprint scanner. So, yun lang naman. And yeah, I can easily recommend this, of course, to anyone. Uh, I'll leave the links in the description sa so mga gusto bumili ng kanilang Xiaomi Pad 5 mismo. Although, pwede kayo mag-hold off since alam ko, i-re-release na ata soon yung Xiaomi Pad 6 dito sa Pilipinas. Again, technically, you can buy the Xiaomi Pad 6 uh, somewhere like this other Shopee, pero... China ROM siya. And medyo sketchy yung seller since, you know, wala silang COD. So yeah, yun nga yung full review ko sa Xiaomi Pad 5. This is an already great tablet, pero 
for me, mainly dahil sa fluidity niya, yung software experience, siguro kung this is running on One UI, I would definitely, hindi ko nakahangarin na bumili ng Tab Series ng Samsung. Pero most likely, madedemonyo ako sa parating na Tab S9 Series ng Samsung. We'll see. Pero for now, um, again, for me, as of making this video, is this is probably the best value tablet that you can buy right now. And yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Of course, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Still got a cheddar fan Yeah, I'm watching out